What's going on YouTube? It's your boy the TV man and I'm back with another video, man. And in today's video, man, I just really want to talk about the the danger that being near your head can cause. Um now I'm gonna just tell y'all this. Me, I'm speaking from experience, y'all know I don't talk, just to talk. Um, I'm in my head every day. I'm in my head about the past and the future. Mind y'all, y'all know I did y'all know I didn't say present, right? Uh, just let me explain. Um I'm in my head a lot and it haunts me. Um because when you when you are a person who's always in their head twenty four seven, you know you know what I'm for the ones that know, you know. It's like you're thinking about 15 million things at one time that's not good you know um it drains the fuck out of you you know what i'm saying it's times where i get migraines bro i'm just staking so much i'm like i have to learn how to live in the present stop stressing about the past which is something that already happened and stop worrying about the future so much because my thoughts about the future aren't really positive thoughts, y'all. Like, especially with what I be dealing with and stuff. It's like, I try to just live in the moment, but it's so hard when you know where you wanna go and you don't feel like you're really getting to where you wanna go. You know? But I mean, it's dangerous because there were times where I wanted to say, bro, like, fuck life, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, there was times where I just wanted to get on the body here because I felt like I was never going to be an accomplishing man. I just, sometimes I still feel that way. Sometimes I feel like I'm not worthy. You know what I'm saying? But I have to tell myself I am. Just because I'm in a situation I don't wanna be in as of now. It's like, it's not gonna never, it's not gonna always be this way. So I gotta keep reminding myself that and um, I don't know, I feel like it's harder when you don't really have nobody to talk to about stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how can I get out of my head if I can't even release my thoughts to somebody who's gonna actually listen and try to comprehend what I'm saying, you know? But being in your head, but that shit is dangerous. Like, it haunts you. It's times where I just lay, I'm in the bed and I'm just laying here. And I be like, damn. It won't go away. And I'm trying to find different coping mechanisms to help me, but that is hard, bro. And I'm an Aquarius. Y'all, if you don't know, Aquarius is always in their head. You know, my grandma, like she like the same way, but it haunts, bro. Like it will eat you alive if you let it. And sometimes I let it, it's not a good feeling. Like it feel like I'm about to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> And I have people telling me, man, get out your head, man. Get out. It's not that easy. To, you can't just tell somebody who's always, in, who's always in their head to get out their head and they can just snap out of it. No, bro. Like, it's so much I want out of life. And I don't know, man. I feel like the past, I just got to let it go regardless because, like, bro, I can't do nothing about it. It happened already. You feel me? So... I just try to stay focused on the things that I can control, man. And a lot of us stress about this thing. A lot of people stress about those type of things, bro. Like stressing about stuff that you cannot control. It's like pointless. It's pointless. And I just give it, man, I'll be trying to just, I just give it to God, man. And like, I'll be trying to give it to God, but it's like, it won't leave my mind, bro. I say, okay, Lord, I give you all of the things and my problems that are out of my control. I give those to you. But it's like, it won't leave. I work out every day. Um, I don't know. I guess it's because I be sitting in uh, where I am alone. I be alone a lot, for real, you know. But I try to get out. And I try to do stuff. To keep my mind off stuff. But it's like, when I come back, it's like... <laughs> it come right back. It come right back. But I'm just saying, like, please find a coping mechanism to um, stay out your head, man. It's, it's very dangerous. Um, especially, like, for somebody who really want 
a great life or I say a better life who's working towards getting there but has to fight through all these challenges and obstacles and it's like bro it's insane it's insane but I just gotta man I don't know man I'm just venting to the camera you know because it's so damn dangerous being in your head like it literally can shut you down it can make you not want to do nothing It'll make you forget about your goals, your accomplishments, the things you have accomplished. Now you have to kind of, well, you have to, not kind of, you have to give yourself credit for the things that you do and have done. Because if you don't, you're going to feel like you have no value. You're going to feel like you're just not important. You're going to feel like you don't have value. You're going to feel like you're just not worthy. And I promise you, every single last one of you guys are worthy. It's just like, we just have to see the light. We gotta focus on that light. At the end of that tunnel that we're trying to get through, focus on the light. But at the same time, embrace the journey because you're gonna be able to be like, damn, I'm strong as shit. Like I got through all this that was beating me down and I'm still standing. That didn't kill me. It might have added some pain, but it didn't physically harm me. You know? It made me stronger. It, it, we go through things in life that are hard for a reason. God put us through everything for a reason. And I keep telling myself this, man, as I'm in my head. I'm like, I'm going through this for a reason. I'm going through this for a reason. God knows I'm strong. He wouldn't have put me through this if I was not strong, right? God gave his stuff in his battle to his strongest soldiers. So if I wasn't his strongest soldier, he wouldn't have gave me the tough battle. You feel me? So it's like, we got work to do, you know? Every day we wake up, we have a choice to make. We can either let this shit beat us down and just say, fuck life, or we gonna get our ass up. We gonna put the work in and we gonna get it done. It sound more positive when you getting shit done. And everything is a process. You know, everything's literally a process. So things will take time to get put together. But we gotta learn how to stay out of our heads, man. Stop thinking so negative. Negative thoughts, bro, will eat you alive if you just allow it to. And I be trying, bro. It's like a mental battle every day for me, man. I tell my mom this. I tell all the people that check up on me this, man. Like, for me, I'm just a person who be in their head 24-7. There's a lot of us out here. And for the ones that know, it's, it's real. So every single day, man, I try to get up make the right choice, man. I tell myself it's going to be a great day. Um, be easy on myself because I know I've been through a lot of shit. And I'm still going through shit as we speak. But I'm not going to beat myself up and make myself feel worse than how I already feel when I'm trying to heal. You know what I'm saying? That's something you don't want to do. You don't want to beat yourself up in the midst of your healing journey and your healing process. Take care of yourself. You get one mind. You get one body, one soul. Treat it as if it matters because it does matter. We better treat it like, man, I don't know. You better really take that serious, though. We can't lose our minds, man. We got to be strong, man. All of you guys are strong. I tell myself I'm strong, too. But I have to find a way to not be in my head so much I don't know so I'm gonna just be trying new things and see what works see what don't and then we just gonna eliminate do some process of elimination we're gonna see what works and we're gonna eliminate the ones that's not working cause I have to stop bro I have to stop being in my head so much it solves nothing bro it stresses you the fuck out why am I stressing about tomorrow when I'm living today It sounds, bro, it sounds crazy, bro. Why am I stressing about tomorrow when I should be worrying about living today? I'm worried about the next day when I can be out here living my life today. I'm stressed about next week. My mind already on next week. And it's a new week that just started. Don't worry about the week that's coming after this week. I gotta get out the head. I have to. I be thinking about 
the future. Shit, years from now, years from now has yet to come. Like, bro, I gotta live now, bro. I have to live now. And I don't feel like I'm living because I'm so worried about shit that's beyond me right now. I don't worry about shit that already happened. Just like Sean, okay, let's see, let's see this right. Let's do the past. Let's do reality. Let's do right now. Let's do the future, right? I'm not. I'm not even in between, bro. I'm, I'm just. It's like I'm on the thinking about the past side, and I'm focused on the future side. I'm not even focused about the middle. So it's like I'm. I'm avoiding living in the now because I'm so worried about. Like, bro. I don't know. I'm just doing some deep thinking because it's like, bro, we have to start living in the now. I feel like life would be so much better if we just live. Just live. It's, I just live. For real, for real. And I feel like social media make it worse too. Cause you seeing everybody posting pictures in, in Dubai or in the islands or like Bora Bora or Fiji. You like, damn, you get jealous and you feel like a low life, bro. You're not a low life, bro. Their time was meant for them, and your time is meant for you. Everybody has their own time. And mind you, but that's just a moment. You don't know what that person is going through in their everyday life. You you don't know. So focus on you. Focus on living in the now. And the past, bro, it, it's gone. It's gone. Every single day, if you you about to think about, so just say it's gone. What am I stressing about something that's gone for? It happened already. We can't rewind. You know, so we can only go forward. You feel me? And I gotta stop thinking about the future so much as well because you never know, bro. You never know. Like life is unpredictable. Life is unpredictable, bro. Live now. Because tomorrow is not fucking promised, bro. It's not. Thank God for waking up every day. But God didn't wake me up, right? For me to focus on the fucking past and the future. He woke me up. So I can live in the now. Because that we're living in the now, bro. We're not living in 2010, 2019, 2023. That's, that's the past, bro. We moving forward. But let's not, let's stop thinking so far ahead, bro. Now let's just focus on the now. I don't know, man. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, I had to tell myself this. I was talking to myself and you guys at the same time because, man, I'm a person who is always in their head about shit, man. And it's like, I can't escape. It's like I'm trapped in a cell and I'm locked in. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I hope that helped. I'm pretty sure I helped somebody. Um, if you watch this full video, thank you. Um, I should be trying to help because I deal with a lot of stuff, man. And I should be trying to bring it to the camera to tell you guys and just help others out as well. But um, we got to stay out of our heads, man. And uh, I hope after seeing this video that you decide to live in the now. Go outside, bro. It's beautiful. It's beautiful outside, man. You feel me? Go live. You feel me? Work hard and live. I'm not saying work too damn hard to the point where you're stressing yourself out. But work. Get your priorities done and have fun. You feel me? Life's not about working 24-7. Work, 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 work. No, we gotta enjoy life. You feel me? So enjoy your fucking life. Travel. Work on the business. You feel me? It's about your freedom. Feel me? So work towards that, man, and live in the moment. And keep God first. You know what I'm saying? And keep good people around. You know what I'm saying? Like that so much, man. I can try to make a video.